Hi guys, I don't know what time of day, night, or even what day it is in your part of the world or when you're watching this, but Merry Christmas! You will notice I have the tree with too many lights. It's about that big and it's got enough lights wrapped around it for a tree much, much, much larger. Okay, so we've started with 12 from Buckfast Abbey. We are going to have a number of clips of Buckfast, including uh, our beloved Hosanna. They are all old. They've been remastered. Well, hopefully we've brought out the tone better in Hosanna. He's a much nicer bell than he sounded on previous recordings, but, well, there you go. What has happened? Uh, we weren't allowed to ring at the Abbey. And I'm pre-recording this, so it, I might be wrong, but I doubt it. Which is very sad. Uh, there will be a video out maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe a couple of days later, depending on if I get some suitable video of other bells that we have attacked, I mean rung, uh, over Christmas Day. So, birthdays. December birthdays. Let's do those. Now, there's a big apology here because, um, what's it called? Facebook has let me down. It says, oh yes, you've got nine friends with birthdays, but we're only going to tell you who four of them are. And I had to hunt for one or two. So, happy birthday to Thomas, who has another channel. Link in the description. It's about trains and planes and things. It makes a change from bells. Matt, who is um, about to become a dad if he hasn't already? Well done. Kareem, greatly missed colleague of mine. Uh, Kareem was an absolutely great guy and it's his birthday this month. Simon, no, not a Simon you know, Tom. George, good old Georgi. Um, yeah, happy birthday, mate. Uh, let's, let's hope life continues to improve for you. Been a bit of an upward turn, so let's keep it going that way. And Janet, who's another very good friend of mine. There are at least three more. And I don't can't remember birthdays. If they're not written down, I can't remember them. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, maybe I'll, if I find you, I'll include you in next month. So say, carrying on from last month. Uh, but you, know, you will be remembered at some point. Um, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm not here. <laughs> I love that it's actually recording ahead by design rather than by chance. I'm not here. I'm away. So I'm, I'm actually, as you're watching this, I don't know. Uh, I could be bell ringing. I could be back home. I could be stuck on the middle of the dark moor waiting for the AA. Mm, what fun. Stuck on the middle of Dartmoor waiting for the AA on Christmas Day is a bit like being stuck in a stable waiting for the wise men. They didn't turn up at their stable. It was about two years old before they arrived. And it does make you think a bit about... OK, what's he going to say about the Church of the Dispossessed? I'll come to that in a minute. We're going to have some pictures now of Christmas around the world because I'm just filling in space. Uh, I'm, I'm planning this, so we're going to fill in some space, and we'll have some more news and fill in some more space and and stuff like that. Uh, filling in space with pictures of Christmas from around the world and some organ music from Team Grace, which is a little village just outside Newton Abbot. It's a charming little church. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Quite a high roof and a small dome. Uh, the organ is at the West End. It's only about 12 stops, I think. Maybe even less, maybe one more. It's no more than 13, um, I don't think. Uh, it could be as low as 10. And it makes a fantastic sound. Played today, uh, and thank you for the permission to use, your, the, use the recording, by a good friend of mine, Win Turner. It was his last recital before he moved away from the area, and he holds the rather unusual title of Organist Emeritus, or Emeritus, or whatever it is. I've never been able to say that word, so we'll enjoy that for a moment or two.
Can you see my coloured lights? I've got little coloured lights here as well. I don't know if you can, I don't think the camera can pick them up because, well, that's a green one, you know. Hello. <laughs> ah, they're dying. Uh, I've got battery problems. I couldn't find battery charger. The Church of the Dispossessed. I was going to squawk about that, wasn't I? I kind of hinted at that. You can take this sociologically, theologically, or, well, theologically might be a bit diff difficult, um, historically or politically, okay? Or a mixture of the whole lot, if you like. Circumstances of Jesus' birth, looking at the historical figure of Jesus. So we're not going to look at the divinity, we're not going to look at the conception or anything like that, because this is a family channel. Uh, Jesus was born to Mary, his mother, obviously. <laughs> she was betrothed to some guy called Joseph. And now there is a problem with the betrothal thing. Not for her, but for us. Betrothal was a kind of state that sat between engagement and marriage. It was very, very serious. You weren't actually married, so you didn't get all the rights of marriage. And any children that were conceived uh, during the time of betrothal were uh, considered to be conceived out of wedlock and therefore illegitimate. But to get out of a betrothal required paperwork and things. You couldn't just call it off the way you could an engagement. The couple would often live together. Uh, although uh, they, mm, yeah, you can imagine uh, they're not supposed to do that. So it makes Jesus' birth illegitimate. Jesus was born illegitimate. He was also born away from home. He was actually homeless. He was born in a stable or a cave or somewhere like that. So he's illegitimate and he's homeless. His parents didn't have anything. I mean, they had a donkey and that was about it. And some clothes. They're begging everything. Illegitimate, homeless and desperately poor. Then Herod sent out the decree. And again, you know, this is history. Had all the firstborn males up to the age of two or something slaughtered. Uh, and Mary and Joseph weren't alone in this. Uh, oh, they had a pet flea, but you'll have to look at the Bible for that. Bit of humour. Uh, they departed to Egypt. They ran away to Egypt. So he's now illegitimate, homeless, desperately poor, and a refugee. Think of how governments around the world that want to wave the Christian flag respond to people who are considered the lowest in society. Um, our Prime Minister has made comments about single, uh, single mothers, therefore we have illegitimacy, we have homelessness, we have desperately poor food banks, and we have refugees. Just think about that. Moving swiftly on, bit of Hosanna. Get all get the old guy going, shall we? Let's watch Hosanna for a bit.
was fun. Um, oh, I have forgotten to do the YouTube thing. Please watch this far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring that notification bell just as the phone goes next door. I'm going to ignore it. We've got a bell on top of the magic tree as well, but you can't quite see it. It is glowing vaguely. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Well, that was impressive. Really didn't expect that. It's amazing what you can do with a 3D printer and a bit of ABS, isn't it? Uh, moving on, what's going to happen now with this channel? How are we moving on? We're going into the new year and things are getting really exciting. What is going to happen next? Patreon, we've hit the magic number. There will be two videos for the signing up of Patreon. The first one will be immensely boring because it's going to go through all the terms and conditions. We're not going to go through them too seriously. Mine are not at all serious. Oops. Not at all seriously, really. Um, but we they are important, and we're going to sort of brush through that. And then the second one will be actually dealing with the form. And I don't like forms. I was thinking about what do we do with the patrons, Patreon money, you know, uh, how do we use it? And I came up with some brilliant ideas and have forgotten them. We've already done that. We know that the first thing is is some more lighting. And what videos are we going to have? Well, because we're trying to encourage patrons to give us money and and to, to et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're going to look at the little furry hats for microphones. Because this microphone here doesn't come even with a, a, a foam windscreen. Never mind a furry hat and you can't get them. Then we're going to make them. That's so where some more Patreon money is going to go. Today. It doesn't cost a lot. It's a bit of foam and a bit of fur. Uh, fake fur, incidentally. And we will make windscreens for that one. And it's mate. And... They will also want the foam bit, and we will make uh, the little furry hats for this one as well. Uh, they're cheap. I mean, it's, I'm looking at hopefully no more than a tenner to do all four microphones. We are also looking at radio microphones. The 3D printer is, uh, it broke yesterday. This video should have been made yesterday, along with a Patreon video. And instead of spending four hours making videos, I spent eight hours taking the 3D printer apart. Mm, it works now. Oh, they're horrible inside, you know. If you get inside the print head, you get great big lumps of plastic that you, you've got to get out and you, you melt them out, actually. You just turn it on and burn your fingers. I don't have my tipple, which is really disappointing, but I will have my, I'll have two in the next video. So the next video will be watching a moose get drunk. What else can we say about Christmas? No snow. Oh, it's so disappointing. I do like snow. Where's the country going? Oh, I don't know. Why do people always have to bring that up at Christmas? I don't know where the country's going. Nobody knows where the country's going. Not even the Prime Minister knows where the country's going. Oh, what? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, a whiffle. Um, uh, <laughs> what are we going to do about this, this dreadful pandemic? We can't do anything. It's down to the virus to leave us alone. Uh, it's down to the, the scientists to find ways of making it leave us alone. In between time, we get on with life. It's better than it was last Christmas. A lot better than it was last Christmas. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Get vaccinated, wear rubber gloves. You don't actually, no, don't bother wearing the disposable gloves. I'm saying that because I want the price to come down. I need some. Um, yeah. If you, if Boris knocks on your door during a party, tell him it's, you know, you're full, you've got your six in your bubble and he's not part of it so he can clear off. Uh, you don't, yeah, stay away from the mistletoe. It's largely spread by aerosol which yeah i suspect that what mistletoe tends to encourage people to do is not going to help uh oppress the the the, the disease uh enjoy it actually enjoy it 
enjoy the peace, enjoy the calm. You don't have to be making loud noises in huge gangs uh, and disturbing everyone else to have fun. Actually learn to enjoy the quiet. He said, I'm waiting for the phone to ring. A few more bells. <laughs> Time to say goodbye. I've said all I want to. I, we don't want to drag on forever. Um, have a very good Christmas. Uh, enjoy St. Stephen's Day. That's tomorrow. And don't forget, we've got New Year coming up. I'll do that then. I'll tell you how you say Happy New Year properly. And I don't mean in multi. <laughs> 
I'm trying to remember the Maltese for Happy New Year because I know we've got at least one person from Malta who who does dip into the videos occasionally. In will no, that's birth. Miliad Itayeb, I think. Yes. That's Happy Christmas to everyone. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching hours and hours and hours of stuff that I produce quite randomly. Um, stick with it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe because it actually encourages me. Uh, if Watch out for the Patreon if you want to learn more about the Patreon scheme. Keep watching, not this video, but up and coming videos. If you want to know how to make hairy things for your microphone, hopefully that will come up. Uh, I've got the tools to get into Virginie now. All we need is the screen and we will do one on mending or replacing screens in, excuse me, in um, whatever she is, a sat nav. Might work on phones as well. I don't know. I don't know how to get into phones. They're difficult to get into. Sat nav is easy. And with that, on the subject of sat navs, ice is coming, snow might be coming if we're really lucky. Drive very carefully. There are some idiots out there at the moment. Have a good time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of the holiday. And we look forward to further improvements next year, both in the channel and in the world out there.